Compliance. One, the act of conforming, acquiescing, or yielding. Tools and shackles, shackles are tools. I was taught early on to follow the rules. Two, a tendency to yield readily to others, especially meekly. Every Wednesday we use a tool for your injection. Trust us is for your and our protection. Three, conformity. Accordance. You got an illness, they used to call it a sin, but our tools are freed you from a balanced prison. Four, cooperation or obedience. Compliance. I remember I was 19 years old and they told me, you're going to spend the rest of your life in and out of hospitals. I actually was told that um, I was too sick to even try to want to work. Um, when I got the offer for the current job that I do, which is with the RLC, um, I said this, I was an outpatient, and I said it to the woman who was giving me therapy, and she said, no, 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 you're not ready, you can't do that. And I was just like, yeah, well, I'm out, I'm out, I'm out. and I left. When I was diagnosed as being bipolar, uh, there was a lot of emphasis on me needing like, constant care and being unable to like take care of myself or regulate my mood at any point. Um, I had discussed that I really liked doing art and um, I was told that that, was, that could be triggering and that I should probably find different ways to express myself. There's nothing to indicate that I would have had to take this for the rest of my life and that that was what I was told, you know, you have a chemical imbalance and need to take these medications for the rest of your life and that that just wasn't true. It's it's just that that's not I don't I don't know, it's not good medicine. I never would have met my partner. I wouldn't have the job that I had if I had stayed in my room and stayed safe. I wouldn't have had a roller derby career and be number 18 Mazel Tov cocktail if I had, you know, stayed on antipsychotic medications and stayed safe. You know, sometimes it's okay to take risks. Um, they can pay off amazingly. Really, the only thing you can do is listen to yourself. Sometimes we just give that that write up to these people who we think know better. They don't. They honestly don't know better. Not better than we know ourselves. 